Hello everybody. Welcome back to Crafting Chaos with Melanie. I hope everybody is doing great today. I'm super excited. This is the first video of 2024. I cannot believe it. I hope everybody had a great Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all the things, the Happy New Year, you know, anything that you celebrated. I hope that you found joy and I hope you got to relax and enjoy your family and all the things. So what are we going to do today? Today we are going to be pulling some inspiration from a Christmas card. And I, I, this was probably one of my favorite Christmas cards I did this year. And there is a video on it and I will link it below. But I kept it on my desk because I absolutely love it. And I thought it would be fun to take the concept of the blended background and make some Valentine's Day cards. Now I had some blended backgrounds in my stash that I didn't use. And these are just ones that's already done. And we're actually going to use these today um, because I really want to encourage you to use what you have. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of that this year. A lot of pulling from my stash. And I'm going to keep up with what we do. Um, I think what I'm going to do is do uh, an end of the month report on how many paper pads I've, I've uh, used up or whatever it is I'm trying to do. Nothing fancy very relaxed, no pressure. It's just something that I want to do um, in the new year to get a grip and a reality check on my craft room, to be quite honest with you guys. I have so much stuff and I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy anything. Um, there, there will be stuff that I buy through the year, but I am going to tell you I'm going to be very intentional with what I do. And I started that towards the end of 2023 and it worked very good with me. I really reduced my spending and it really, I really took the time to go in my stash and see what I had. So that's what I encourage you to do. And that's what I did today. Um, in today's video, I have these two blended backgrounds and I had made these at Christmas. So I'm going to set this card aside. This was the inspiration card. And I will tell you the inks that we used on these backgrounds were Catherine Puller inks. No surprise there. Um, I used Cotton Candy. I think Pucker Up. It's a girl party dress and be mine. These were the pinks that I used during that video um, of the Christmas cards. So I'm pretty certain that those are the inks here. Um, I think this is probably be mine. No, this is party dress. So I got party dress and cotton candy for these and on this one i have be mine nope i have pucker up and it's a girl i think it's the color combos that i did something to that effect catherine puller inks are so good to color blend they're so good to um, do different ranges of color because of that color wheel um highly recommend these inks okay so what am i pulling in today i have a thought i have an idea so this is what i did i got in my stash and i got one of my favorite stamp sets from last year or year before last and that was do 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 let's see here oh goodness um i don't see what this is it's from close to my heart oh it's on the front I'm not used to that. Uh, let's see here. This is now and forever. I absolutely love the stamp set. I love the stamp set. I've used the stamp set so much. I used the butterfly in the stamp set, the flower. This is definitely a year round stamp set when I got it last year. The paper that came with this, it was a kit. Uh, the paper is stunning. I still have a little bit of it left that I've been hoarding, but I'm going to use it. And I'll tell you the reason that I absolutely love this stamp set. Not only did it have butterflies, I love butterflies. But the dies, the dies that come with it, look at this heart. This heart is beautiful. I love, I love this heart. So I wanted to use this heart today. And I wish I brought in my ink pen in here. I have a glittery ink pen and it's black glitter with pink. So instead of just doing like gold and silver on this, I'm going to splatter some black on this. So I'm going to kind of use... Uh, black to see how it pops. I have this image in my head and we're going to go with it. We're going to see how it goes. Okay. So what I did is I die cut a couple of black hearts. Oh, that sounded bad, didn't it? <laughs> I die cut a couple of black hearts and I also die cut this mirror 
cardstock from Celebration Warehouse. I cut that one. So I brought that in. I got some papers from my stash. I've got this black stripe. I think it's just beautiful, beautiful for a contrast. I think that's very pretty. I got this pink. And I think this pink will be very pretty if you wanted to do a card with just, you know, a pink background instead of, you know, the um, ink blended background. So let's see what we do. I also have my, I have no idea how to say these. These are the metallics that I use all the time. Um, love these. I got them off Amazon. I will link them if they're in stock. I went to replace this and it was out of stock and I just had to get the pan, which was really cool. I could actually order the single color of this. And I think that's fantastic. I love that. All right. I think that's all I need. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some splattering. Okay. So I have a box here. It's just a, a box that I use so I don't make a mess. And the first thing I want to bring in is black. So what I've done is I've taken black reinker that I've covered up with the box. Do, do, do. Let's see here, guys, what I do with it. It was Catherine Puller black reinker, and I put it on uh, an old block because this is permanent ink and it's going to stain this. I have no doubt in my mind it's going to stain it. I have my water brush. I have a water brush here and I am just going to reactivate, reactivate that ink. It's been sitting here a few minutes while I got ready for the video. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to get something to do this with. And we are going to splatter that on there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I didn't mean to do that. Let's see here. I really want to saturate this. Ah, yes. Okay. There we go. All right. I want some up there in the middle. All right. Ooh, yes. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So let's pull this one out. Okay, we got that one, the black. Let's do this one. Honestly, I think this one's my favorite. I think the blend on this one's better. Um, I think this is party dress and like, it's a girl. All right. Guys, this is such a fun technique. You can do, you can do this with anything. If you have acrylic paint, you could put a little bit of acrylic paint on this and put some water on it. I've done that with white before. Uh, you could do this with kids paint. You could do this. There, you know, if you don't have ink refills, use your imagination. Get creative. That's what we do, right? We get creative. Okay. All right. So let's bring this over. I'm going to be honest with you. I like this piece. I hope that's in camera. I like this piece better, but we're going to use both of them, right? All right, now, let's see here. Okay, so we got these two pieces, and I got the hearts. Now, one piece is smaller than the other. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the black. Isn't that pretty? But I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We are going to do a little bit of a technique on the hearts. The hearts are pretty like that, but I want to do something a little different. So what I think I'm going to do... I think we're going to glue the hearts on. We're going to, oops, we're going to go with it. As I'm making so much noise, we're going to get the precision glue press. Guys, I really think this is the tool of 2023. I love this glue press. Um, it's hard to get right now. It's hard to get. As soon as they go in stock, they sell out. I will link May May because I know May May was getting it in stock. And you can go to her um, website and put your name in on um, notifications and it will notify you when it comes in stock. I really love this more than I thought that I would. Does it 100% stay unclogged? No. There, you know, there's times you have to pick it a little bit. Is it 150% better than this right here? Absolutely. I love this. I absolutely love it. Okay. We're going to glue these down. I'm going to pull this in and kind of center a little bit. Now, this is going on an A2 card. So 
four and a quarter by five and a half. Let me see what these are. These are three and three quarters by five. This one's three and three quarters by five. And this one's bigger. So this one is four by five and a quarter. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit less than four by five and a quarter. A little bit less, not a lot. Um, I like the size of this one better, but I like the background of this better. So, you know, I wanted to use what I had. I didn't want to make any more. All right, so there we go. What do you think? I like that. We're going to do two of them on this? Yeah, and then I think we're going to do three cards, and we're going to take this one, and we're going to do it on this. So let's go ahead and cut this one down. Um, we are going to cut this one down to four by five and a quarter. Let me get my trimmer here. All right, this is the Tim Holtz Tonic Studio Pre Precision Trimmer. I love this trimmer. Um, love this trimmer. This cardstock is from Dots and, let's see here, Dots and Stripes by Echo Park. I don't know if you can still get this or not. This was in my stash, so let's just cut that. Okay. Sorry about that. And we're going to put this one. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, guys. Now, I'm not going to use liquid glue on this. Um, I'm not a fan of liquid glue on mirror cardstock. Um, I don't want to see my glue, guys. I just don't. I don't want to see it. And sometimes on this mirror cardstock, like thin cardstock, you can see it. All right, let's pull this to the side. All right, let's put that right there. Look at that. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. Okay, so now what are we going to do real quick? I need to speed this process up just a little bit. Okay. We're going to take these cards, put them back in the box, and I want to add some gold. I want to add some gold. So we're going to bring over my metallics here. We're just going to put a bunch of water in there. We're going to get it going. And this is primarily going to be on the heart. I want it on the heart, but it can, you know, a little bit. There you go. Just a lick and a promise. Yes, perfect. Okay. I need some more water on this. Okay, let's do the other one. Guys, am I the only person who like crafts in chaos? Like serious chaos 99% of the time. I start out with a clean desk. I start out with good intentions. And I work myself in a hole. Every time. Ooh, I like that. What do you think about that? I absolutely love it. That is pretty. Okay, so we're done with the little box. We're going to put the little box up. All right, for sentiment. On this, guys, this is where the card gets simple. We're actually almost done. I'm going to use Love You More and Happy Valentine's Day. So Love You More is already on a block, right? And I'm just going to bring in some scrap paper I have here. And I am going to stamp this out three times. Okay, I'm going to use, first I'm going to use a light color ink. And I think what I'm going to do is bring my um, Misty in here because I did not refill any of my inks. So I don't know how inky they are. All right, so we're going to do Love You More. All right, let's do it in cotton candy let's no let's do it in cotton candy cotton candy and this is the regular size misty and i do have a waffle flower sticky mat in it guys love this mat okay This is why I love having a Misty. Listen, guys, if you're going to stamp and you're going to be a stamper, I highly recommend investing in a Misty or the Ulta New. Um, 
stamping wheel. Um, they're both really good tools. What I would say about the Misty compared to the stamping wheel, I just feel like the Misty is made better than the stamping wheel. Um, there I said it. I think I'm probably going to get hate for that, but I love Ultra New. I think they're a great, great company. And I also think the stamping wheel is cool. It really is. Um, but for the price, I just feel like the quality, it's just, it's, I don't know. I can't explain it. I just feel like it's kind of flimsy and, uh, yeah, I'm going to get so much hate for that. So let me just stick it to the good things. It's really cool. The, the wheel is really cool. Guys, I'm looking at my desk and when I flipped that, that gold, I flicked it all over the back wall of my room and all over my inks. I have to show you what I did. How did I do that? And I was in the box. You guys saw me in the box. Oh my goodness. I give up. Okay. So we've got this stamped out. Any sentiment, any sentiment would do. And guys, what are we going to do? We are going to wiggle cut. I'm not a big person to spend dies on sentiments. I've done this for years. If I don't want it completely straight, um, if I don't want to take the time, I literally just take the sentiment and I wiggle cut it. And I just go around the die or the, the stamped sentiment. And so often, guys, it really looks like you die cut it out. It's so easy. And it gives you room. You know, it, it's hard just to cut a straight line with a pair of scissors. Now, I can tell you, I could pretty much guarantee Tracy Phillips from Mindless Crafting can cut straight with a pair of scissors. Lord have mercy, that's all she used for so long. Give her a pair of scissors and that girl can do anything. I am not one of those people. I cannot do that. I cannot cut a straight line to save my life with a pair of scissors. So I call it wiggle cut. My husband will tell you, you can put that in my dictionary of words that really don't exist, but I use them. Okay. See how quick that is? Guys, this card is so easy. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't like a lot of negative space on my cards, but because that the um, heart is black, I just think it works. All right, let's bring this back in here. Look at this. Love you more. We're going to put it off to the side. Love you more. Love you more. And we are going to use foam adhesive for these. Let's just see what I got. Um, these are just foam adhesive, pop dots, whatever you want to call them. These are from Dollar Tree, guys. These are straight up Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to be very blunt. In Naples, if you go to the one on Immokalee Dollar Tree and you don't have these, that's because whenever I go and they're in stock, I buy them out. I buy every pack they have. I'm that girl when it comes to these. I'm sorry. I apologize. So, do you make Valentine's Day cards and send them? Or not? I love Valentine's Day. I've always loved Valentine's Day. Um, and I just think it's the colors and the spirit of it. I love people. I've always, always loved people. And I just... I love this holiday for that. I don't spend a lot of money on the holiday. I'm not one of those girls. If you are, great. I'm not. I just like the... What it stands for. And yes, we can do that year-round, obviously. One of my favorite memories, raising my children, and the three of them will tell you this, is I would always cook a big dinner for Valentine's Day, and I would decorate the table and I would get fancy glasses out like fluted wine glasses or you know champagne glasses just you know to have fun with and whatever they drank they would drink out of the glasses and they loved it they really did all right look at these guys that to me especially with these two I think that's all you need I think these 
our perfection with nothing else. That space with the 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 gold on it and everything, it's filled it, and I'm fine with that. Normally I wouldn't be, but today I am. So let's cut down the black stripe. I really want to do this. I really want to use this black stripe. So let's cut that down. I'm so sorry. And we're going to cut this down to four by five and a quarter. So let's go right here. We're going to go four and five and a quarter. Okay. For one. And the other one, I think we might leave the way it is and not do a background behind it and see what that looks like. So let me get my card fronts here. I thought I brought them over. I did. Okay. So I think this is the smallest one. It is. Guys, that is so pretty. What do you think? Now, let me see here. Should I have done it bigger? Let's see. I just think that's so pretty. I don't know. I almost think it gets lost. Uh, you got to have something. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do just a black background and we're going to save this piece. We're going to use it. I'll use it. I will not waste it. Waste not, want not, right? Let's go back over here and let's go a little bit over four and a little bit over five. No, I'm cutting this wrong. A little bit over four. And a little bit over five and a quarter. There we go. Now I got it. Now let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. You can tell this is my first video back because I'm a little bit... Oh, yes, this is perfect. This is so pretty. Look at this. This is my ATG gun that I absolutely love. And this is me ruining this card. Okay, I'm not going to line this up. I love this. I love this. I absolutely love this. Something else that would, that would be very pretty is if you use glitter card stock. You could actually cut that heart out in a glittered, like a black glittered card stock. I think that would be pretty. Look at that card. Wowza. I love this card. Love this card. Okay, so let's go. Let's put this one on. I'm going to bring this in. I cut this one just a little bit bigger. And let's bring this one over. If you have leftover Christmas paper or technique pieces, bring them in for Valentine's Day, guys. It's a lot of the same colors. Look at that. I love this. I think these are gorgeous. Okay. All right. So let's bring this one over now. With this one, I didn't cut a background. Guys, it needs it. Let me do this real quick. Five and a quarter. There we go. All right. Let's see if this works. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. Let's go to this side. Now we're going to cut that down just a little bit. I'm doing surgery. There we go. And let's go here. Five. And now this will work. And we're going to say that. Okay. 
So let's bring this over. In the next video, I have a really pretty share I want to do with you. Something that I did in 2023. I did it for my daughter and she used it the entire year. And I just have to show you. And I, I, I'm going to do it again for her. I've got to make it by the end of January. So I've got to get that done. Um, so I'm going to, and I'm also going to show you some Valentine's Day products that I have in my stash. That you might have in your stash. And we're going to be using next week. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of Valentine's. And we're also going to be doing some birthdays. All right. Okay. So now... I have the Happy Valentine's Day stamp, right? So let me get this out. And we are just going to go for it on this one, okay? We're going to go for it. Okay. Now, I want to use this on the inside of the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an angle I just want to cut a little angle and I'm going to glue this down because I don't want to waste it. And I don't want to put it in my stash either. So I am just going to put that there just as a little visual interest. I just think that looks really good. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to take this happy Valentine's day and I put it on a stamp block and I'm trying to think, uh, oh, do we need to do black? I think I'm going to do it in party dress only because I think I re ink party. I did. Oh yeah, I did. I totally did. All right. We're going to bring some scrap in here. Okay. There's something on it. All right, so I'm just going to give this a good tap, not pushing it too hard. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to put Happy Valentine's Day as straight as I can get it. I think I got a little crooked. Oh, that's so pretty. It is a little crooked, but that's okay. That's okay. It's handmade. All right, so let's go over here. I'm going to do the same. And I am going to try to get this lined up a little better. Okay. Yeah. Give it a second. Let that ink transfer. Perfect. And one more time. All right. There we go. Happy Valentine's Day. I did get that a little crooked, but... I'm okay with that. That doesn't bother me. As long as it's not on the outside. I don't know why I got that so crooked. Okay. So there we go. What do you think? This is the first cards of 2024. Yay. And I love them. And they're simple. They're simple. I just took a die. I would call this like a dually heart die. I love the, the, um, element around here the I don't I can't find my words the intri intricacy of this die I love it you could do just a regular heart I love the black and I think if you could take anything from this video it is you can take something solid like a black black shape and just by adding some splatter of a metallic or white or something it really fills the space up and it doesn't feel like it's all this blank space I think I nailed that I really did I did cut out some butterflies but I am not using these butterflies they don't need them I think they look perfect the way they are I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did give me a like and subscribe and I would love for you to share this with any of your crafty friends. Guys, I'm right at 500 and I would love to reach the 500 mark in the next day or two. And then we're on to 1,000. That is my big goal of 2024 is to build this channel and community. Um, I'm learning the technology. Um, I'm learning how to do so much. And I can't wait to, to bring that to you. Um, 
I can't wait for the next video. The next video I am going to be doing a share and it will be Sunday. So this video Saturday, I am going to upload again Sunday to show you this. And then on Sunday, I will give you my plan for 2024. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.